down here is the main salon, um, seating for a number of other passengers down here, and a lot of our safety equipment located here as well. And this little guy back here is the original steam engine, which was uh, ordered for the boat back in 1910. The big win was commissioned uh, by a, a businessman out of Toronto called James Kuhn, K-U-H-N, as a private vessel for his wife. Uh, in 1925, their business was apparently not doing so well, and um, uh, it was acquired to start serving on Lake of Bays up here as a ferry boat. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Win Inn on uh, Big Win Island eventually acquired it, and uh, it ran as a ferry boat for Big Win uh, from 1925 until 1970. Uh, in 1970, Big Win Inn went bust, and the boat was left basically to rot in its slip, and it sank, and it stayed on the uh, on the bottom of the lake in its slip until 1991. Uh, in 1991, a, a group of enthusiasts called the Lake of Bays Heritage Association raised the money to get the boat uh, lifted out of the lake and to buy the boat. Uh, they paid one dollar for the boat. Mm -hmm. And to date, there's been roughly two million dollars put into the restoration of the boat. It was basically stripped right down to the frame. All the wood has been replaced. Um, there's, the original steam engine is in place, but the boat is now an electric boat. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was a complete frame down restoration on the on the boat. So we do have additional seating on the uh, on the aft deck here. Uh, actually, a really nice spot on a on a breezy day. Gets you out of the wind, uh, but still out in the open, and uh, quite popular for up to six or eight of our, uh, our passengers. Covid, kind of like the rest of the world, uh, took the uh, the wind out of our sails for a couple of years. Um, our last full season was 2019, and when Covid hit. Uh, 2020 and 2021 were completely wiped out, uh, so we did not sail at all during those two years. And then towards the end of COVID, just as we were getting ready to come back onto the, uh, the lake, um, some Transport Canada regulations were updated, which required us to make some changes to the boat. And with the worldwide supply chain issues that uh, resulted coming out of COVID, that took us till the end of August last year to get that work completed. So we're now looking at this being our first full season since 2019. It's been a really good season for us so far. We've been sailing since May 27th. Uh, we're seeing very high loads on the boat, good passenger loads, uh, lots of interest. Uh, we're sailing three days a week out of Dorset here, two days a week out of Dwight Beach up at the top of the lake. And Thursday nights, we're running out to Port Cunnington offering dinner, dinner cruises. Uh, so it's been very popular.